Today I'm gonna explain how to cook by yourself four delicious baguette. So you will need four ingredients. First, one pack of active dry yeast. Then two teaspoons of kosher salt. 450 grams of warm water from the tap and 550 grams from unbleached bread flour. And then you will need five accessories, a scale, a bowl, a wooden spoon, a tea towel, and a baguette mold. I found this one on Amazon for like $14. Okay, first you add the yeast in the bowl, then you add the water and you make sure that it's properly melted into the water. Then you add the salt. You cannot add both at the same time because if the yeast gets into contact with the salt, it doesn't work anymore. Okay, then the mold on the scale. And I'm gonna add first 450 grams of flour. Okay. Then I'm gonna use this wooden spoon to mix the flour with the water gently, like this. Doesn't take too long and doesn't need to be fully incorporated. The good thing on using this part of the spoon is that it's so sticky that it doesn't stick too much. It requires a bit of strength to mix. As you can see, it's very, very sticky. So. You can mix it a bit energetically to cut all these little pieces of flour, but don't try to make it really like too, too incorporated. It doesn't need to be worked too hard. So that looks good. It's kind of liquid. So I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to make it exactly 500. So I'm gonna add 500 grams. So I had initially 450 grams of water, warm water, and now I am at 500 grams of flour. As you can see, it is still very sticky and very liquid, which is exactly what we want. So, it sticks to the spoon still. So now I'm using the remaining 500 grams of flour to spray flour on the table. As you notice, the dough is very sticky. So we will need a lot of flour and actually we're going to incorporate this flour into the dough. I'm using a spatula. It's not, it's not necessary, but it's convenient. So I'm using a spatula to drop all this very liquid dough on my table. As you can see, it's very liquid. 
So I'm going to incorporate a bit of flour gently to the remaining dough. I'm doing this and I'm using the spatula because otherwise it's very sticky on my fingers. as well to prevent it to be too sticky. So now I put some flour on my finger here and then I incorporate the flour with the top of my fingers. Once I have incorporated a little bit of flour, I fold the dough, then turn it, add again the flour always with the tip of my fingers as you can see it's very liquid which is nice I'm just using incorporating progressively the rest of the flour like this so i'm gonna fold it nicely and gently so you see i fold i turn then i add a bit of flour still sticky which is okay as you can see on my finger it's sticky but it's fine it's exactly what we want i fold it with a bit of spatula fold it again and then still liquid and it's nice I put it back in the bowl, do the last, for the last time, a little bit of incorporation of flowers, a bit of oath to help it rise. And that's it. So I use my uh, uh, tea towel that I suck with warm water and then I cover my bowl like this it's gonna help the dough to rise as the atmosphere is very dry in my kitchen today i'm gonna prevent my dough to dry too quickly by storing it into the oven but the oven is cold of course and then it's gonna stay there for about three hours okay so now the dough has been uh, rested for four hours as you can see it has very nice bubbles everywhere so i'm gonna pour it on my table where i have spread some flour to prevent it to stick to the table okay Okay, now I need to cut it in four pieces, more or less the same size. I'm using the spatula to cut it. Okay, one. So now I'm going to ship my baguette. So again, flour on my finger, like this, and I do kind of a rectangle, then I fold it into two, and I will use this part of my hand to stick both sides together. You do have some flour on your hands. And then I do this very gently and one. Okay, do it again. Like a quick rectangle, fold it. Okay. Okay, that's my second. Again, very quick. Put it 
tutu. Take it. Three. And the last one. And four. Okay, so this is salted water. So I spray some salted water on the baguette. It's gonna help to get a very nice crunchy crust. And then I use scissors to cut the baguette. Okay. Okay, I have preheated my oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I have put a bowl of water inside. It creates some mist into the oven which will help again to get a very nice touch. I add a bit of water in it again to create some mist. Okay, and now it's in there for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, so now the baguette have been in the oven for 35 minutes. They are nice, gold and crispy. Okay, it's very warm. I'm gonna check how they are inside.